Hello and welcome to Ansalus Health. Today we will provide you with a comprehensive explanation of what is peritonitis. The peritoneum is a protective membrane that covers the inner wall of the abdomen and most of the abdominal organs. When this tissue becomes inflamed, either partially or completely, it leads to a condition called peritonitis. This inflammation can occur as a result of infection, trauma, or complications related to appendicitis. The accumulation of fluid in the abdomen, such as blood or pus, causes swelling in the peritoneum, contributing to the development of peritonitis. Causes and types of peritonitis Peritonitis can be categorized based on its underlying causes and is classified into two main types, primary peritonitis and secondary peritonitis. Peritonitis can occur suddenly due to abdominal fluid accumulation. Advanced liver or kidney disease is often the cause, but there are other factors that can lead to peritonitis, which can be classified into two main types. Primary peritonitis refers to the inflammation of the peritoneum caused by fluid buildup between the membrane and abdominal organs, known as ascites. It commonly occurs in individuals with liver disease or kidney disease. Secondary peritonitis. It refers to the inflammation of the tissue but due to other underlying conditions. It can result from abdominal organ perforation, stomach ulcer or abdominal trauma. This leads to inflammation reaching the peritoneum and causing secondary peritonitis. If you find this video helpful in addressing your doubts about peritonitis, we would greatly appreciate your support through a super thanks. Symptoms of peritonitis Intense abdominal pain is the primary symptom of peritonitis. The major symptom of peritonitis is sudden and severe abdominal pain. The location of the pain depends on the underlying cause of the inflammation, and movement often worsens the discomfort. As the infection progresses, the pain spreads throughout the abdomen. Patients may instinctively twist and flex their knees to alleviate the distension of the peritoneal cavity. Additional symptoms commonly associated with the pain include fever, vomiting, disrupted intestinal transit, rapid heartbeat, chills, abdominal tenderness and firmness, joint pain, thirst, and loss of appetite. To diagnose peritonitis, a doctor will conduct a physical examination to assess signs of inflammation in the abdomen. Further medical tests may be ordered to confirm the diagnosis, such as blood tests, abdominal x-ray, or computer tomography. Treatment of peritonitis the treatment approach for peritonitis varies depending on the specific type, but it usually involves a combination of surgical intervention to drain the accumulated fluids and administration of antibiotics to combat the infection. It is crucial to seek prompt and appropriate treatment for peritonitis, as delayed or inadequate management can result in dehydration organ dysfunction, and potentially life-threatening complications. If you suspect you have peritonitis, it is vital to seek immediate medical attention to receive the necessary treatment and care. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We value your feedback and look forward to hearing from you. Until next time!